Anyway, the show must go on. Show must go on. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Are you ready? ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is Michael and Adrian again, once again here with the five minute forecast. Uh, the topic of today will be the contra loop. Uh, and I will start the, the, the timer now and start with the question Adrian, what is the contra loop? Uh, well, a contra loop is, I guess, is a loop that. You know, I, get, I don't. I, I don't want to say Yannick did it first, but Yannick sort of made it famous by, rather than passing the, the the kite back through the window, it goes back. It goes down through the window, then comes back up to the top. So it's actually a kite loop, but it's going the other way. Like like you would, I guess some people used to call it a down loop, which is now sort of you know similar to a heli loop, right? But so a contra loop basically is a kite loop that goes back. It goes the opposite way of a kite loop. So it goes forward through the window first and then down and then comes, rises back up to the zenith. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. So, so basically uh, I would still call it the down loop if I do it on the surface. So if I do a transition, mm. I do like a down loop when it, the yeah. kite goes forward and then back. Um, yeah. What's the difference to, uh, to, would you say to, to doing a mega loop in terms of what a loop does for you? <clears throat> oh, I think, I mean, two things come to mind. Number one is that, First of all, with that loop, you actually have a bit of a free fall first. Like, you know, when you are doing a, a mega loop the right way, as you bring the kite goes over from, say, 11, 12, 1, the kite's actually pull it, still pulling you up to the air. Mm. And then it loops down through the power zone and then comes back up. Where when you're doing a contra loop, I think because the kite automatically goes back the other way, back around to six, you probably have a little bit more free fall first before it comes up. So maybe you're not getting as much horizontal pull through the air which maybe brings in a little bit of the risk factor. Mm. But I think with kiteboarding, especially big air kiteboarding, with everyone doing quite a small uh, set of moves, I think the contra loop, number one, brings uh, a different look, right? It brings something different that the judges can give you extra variety points on or potentially give you a high score. I think every every big air kiteboarder is, is looking for something different. And I think the contra loop is, is something that is – becoming more common a lot of guys are doing that sort of contra loop now so i think that my i think that going back to the first point it's a different feel i think i mean i've never drummed one in the air at that thing but i i assume that you have uh, a free fall first before the before the kite comes back up rather than that a little bit of lift before the kite goes through the power zone is it riskier do you think i, I mean you say you have a bit more um, free fall but <clears throat> is it riskier in terms of the looping you need to go higher yeah, I mean, I, look, I, I'm going to say without really have any experience with it, I'm going to say absolutely, because I think that the kite is less powered initially, mm. where kite loops are normally powered, right, because the kite has been driven hard through that power zone. Um, but maybe that pivoty type kite or those those type of bow kites, which sort of pivot, give it a uh help you a little bit faster I, it'll be interesting to talk to those guys about what size kite is best to do with a mm. best to do a contra loop on i should reach out to mike and yana can ask mm. but i'd say it's probably more dangerous as it's definitely different right i mean it look it's, it's it seems natural right to come up and pull your back hand mm. so with this one you're actually going up in the air then you're pulling your front hand so everything is unusual which adds yeah. some difficulty and some sort of i guess increases the risk of potential things going wrong yeah, exactly. I haven't done one myself either, uh, but it feels like you can, if you're used to pulling, you know, your backhand, now pulling your forehand yeah. can give you like a forward twist that you need to. Yeah. to uh, I wonder if they, on. I wonder when they do do it, let's say when they do the board off, do they bring their hand across and pull down and still use their left hand for the board? Mm. Or do they pull and go to their right hand because... Yeah, that's a good uh, point. Yeah. I've yeah, seen because, I've seen uh, different, uh, uh, you know, uh, strategies for that, even with the, with the doing the mega loop uh, yeah. when you're doing the front roll and board offs as yeah. well. But, you know, um, uh, and uh, you, you said, you talked about Janik, uh, Gregor Zeski doing it. Uh, he's like the, the signature guy now. That's that's one of his moves. Do we see other guys doing it? Uh, like, yeah, I haven't seen so much in the competition yet, right? Yeah, Mike's doing it. Um, I mean, uh, Heel Vloot does them. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of guys doing them. I don't know if they're doing them in competition. I don't know if 
look, I haven't really studied the big air kite leg vid- as, as mu- mm. video as much as I should. And mm. it's hard because those things are so massive, mm-hmm. so much wind. I need to have a look at that. But I think there are there's definitely a handful of guys doing it now. All right. By all accounts, I mean, it's. I don't think it's ridiculously hard. It's just mm. it's just doing it. Yeah. We are running out of time here. Final question. Do we? Do you think we will see more of the contra loops in the competition in the future? Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. I will. Uh, yeah, for sure. I think it will be interesting to see how the king of the air judges score those, first yep. of all, yep. Uh, yep. because at the moment we're seeing them in the big air kite league. Um, if they're starting to score high, remember, what, some, traditionally when something new comes in, like the ball off mega loop, it's scored so high. And then once everyone else can do it, its score comes down. So when anything new comes in, it's always scored high. And as mm. a as the sort of amount of people who can do it, it's sort of its score comes down because it becomes not as uh seen as a harder trick. So it'll be interesting to see what the King of the Air judges score. Yeah. Uh Yannick or on that. And then there'll be some time when everyone does it, it'll be, you know, mega loops and then contra loops, and it'll just be part of the rotation. It'll be mega loop boogies, mega loop late backs, contra mm. boogies, contra back back lates. It'll just be that type of uh situation. Mm. I don't know if you can, can you do a boogie, a boogie. I guess you can do a boogie with a contra yeah. right? I guess we have to see. Kind of, we have to see. That, that's, that's. I think it's uh, been done. I th- I'm pretty. I'm. Pre- I'm 100 percent sure it's done. Yeah. I think Yannick's done on everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yannick is uh, pushing that. All right. Uh, that was our five minutes on the contra loop or the dirty loop. Is that the same? I think it's the same name. I think it's the same name. Yeah. Right. Same dirt, dirty loops, contra loops. They're all they're all they're all loops that are opposite yeah. than the than the sort of natural, the anti clockwise loops. Let's say well, I shouldn't say yeah. that because, but they are opposite the normal loop. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for uh, the five minute forecast on the contra <clears throat> loop, uh, and uh, see you next. <laughs>